A new Cal Gallup poll shows 49% of U.S. adults say they identify as independent. Rare. That's nearly double the percentage that identify as either Democrat or Republican. Very interesting. Is this proof people are sick and tired of the two-party duopoly spike? Yes, they are. The problem is uh, twofold. Uh, first of all, the Republicans and Democrats do everything they can to fight to keep their competition off the ballot. There are some states where the Republicans and Democrats only need like 25 ballot access signatures to be allowed on the ballot, but their competitions, like the Libertarian Party, have to get 50,000 signatures, even in races where there aren't even 50,000 votes they need to get to win the race. So there are many examples like that, but there's a bigger and more pervasive problem, and that's the good cop, bad cop routine that the Republicans Republicans and Democrats play, where they play good cop to their base, but more importantly, they play bad cop to the other base and fire them up to vote against them, thereby preserving the two-party system. It's called negative partisanship. Mm. And what happens is, if you look at the most recent polling on any of the elections in the past, couple decades, people are more likely to say they voted against the Republican or against the Democrat than for the party that they voted for, the candidate that they voted for. And so what happens is even if they support the Libertarian Party or the Green Party or Constitution Party or Independent or something like that, uh, they're still going to be more likely to vote for whatever party they see, which of the two parties they see to be the lesser evil in order to stop the greater evil. And of course, as we know, if you keep voting for evil, you just get incrementally more evil. And that's the situation we're yeah, in. People need to realize it really uh, that both the good cop and the bad cop are both cops. So, Juan, yeah. it's interesting because in the past, there, there might have been more true independents in the 50s and 60s, like people who really did not want to vote for either party. But people say they're independent and they tend to vote for one party or another. Uh, past generations have settled into one party or the other. But it seems as though Gen Xers are breaking the logjam. They are staying independent longer and later. And I think that you have my generation to thank for that. So are you going to send me a fruit basket? <laughs> well, you know, you hit it on the head. These are young people. It's not the case that the seniors are somehow becoming more independent. It's the young people who, by the way, know the less, the least, because they don't follow politics. They don't watch the news, listen to the news, read the papers. Um, and they're less likely to vote. But the thing is, even so, it's still the case that 90-plus percent of both Republicans and Democrats, when they get to the polls, they vote with the party. I mean, yeah. so, you know, there's this talk of young people being increasingly independent, but that's if they vote. Well, let's, and let's ask right Katie now, Kalich. they don't even vote. Katie is, she's not even 25. Um, Katie, <laughs> how, how <laughs> no. will these, these emerging trends finally affect a presidential election? Well, first, I would upgrade you to an edible arrangement, not just a fruit basket, because those are fancy, fancy fruit baskets right. with strawberries that are dipped in chocolate. Mm. Um, I think it has to do that people are more identifying more as independents because they're defined by more single issue votes. So, for example, we're seeing this a lot with the abortion issue among young people, um, but you see it among older people with the economy. That's what they vote on. And if you ask them, you know, if they're part of a political party, they're not necessarily political people, but they do vote on certain issues. So people like to identify as independent. Also, it sounds nice. Like, I'm just independent. So independent. I'm not going along with the rest of the political system, um, which is fair. So yeah. there but you go. They also get a lot you know, more phone calls from pollsters, though. Oh, God, I, I, I can't wait for those. I love those so much because I keep them on, my, on the phone <laughs> and give my casserole recipes. They just love it. We, we jaw jack <laughs> for a good hour. Katie, Juan, and Spike, lovely <laughs> night. Thank you all. Thank Thanks, you. Kennedy. Good to see you. You too.